Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Pragmac. Today I wanted to discuss the latest Surface Laptop from Microsoft, and that is the Surface Laptop 4. The new Surface Laptop looks identical to the old Surface Laptop. It is the exact same exterior design. It's really unremarkable from that perspective. What is remarkable, however, is there is a whole new slew of internals, including the choice of an AMD chipset on both the 13 and a half and 15 inch model. With the Surface Laptop 4, Microsoft has chosen the route of iteration over having a complete redesign of the Surface Laptop. And this shouldn't be surprising as we've seen it time and time again. When you have a winning design, you don't really want to be changing it. Sometimes it's a safer bet to not invest too much into changing what already works. Well, that means that the Alcantara fabric is still available on the Surface Laptop. That's right, fabric on your laptop. For those who don't want it, there is however choices of all metal designs from Microsoft. So Alcantara is a choice. At the same time, time, the entry level models, the cheapest models of the Surface Laptop, those are the models that are offered with the Alcantara fabric. It's a choice and it isn't a choice because it could also force you into a new price tier if it's not something you want. The 15 inch model of the Surface Laptop 4, however, is available only in metal. Now let's jump right into some specification breakdowns, starting with the smaller model. It has a 13 and a half inch display with a 2256 by 1504 resolution, which equals a total of 201 pixels per inch. The strange resolution is due to the 3-2 aspect ratio, which equals more of a squared out design instead of that widescreen design, which we've been accustomed to. It is a touchscreen display, which of course also supports Surface Pen input. And all of these specifications remain unchanged from the Surface Laptop 3. Moving on to something that has changed, the processor. The Surface Laptop 4 13 and a half inch has the option of either quad core 11th generation Core i5 processors or Intel Core i7 processors. New this year is the choice to have an AMD chipset on your 13 inch device and that is with an AMD Ryzen 5 4680U mobile processor. Something to note is this is not AMD's latest processor as they currently offer a 5000 series chipset. So Microsoft has chosen to go with an older generation chipset for their AMD configuration. Now jumping into the 15 inch model, it has a 15 inch display with a 2496 by 1664 resolution equaling a total of 201 pixels per inch which is identical to that of the smaller display size. Same aspect ratio of 3.2 and same touch and surface pen input display. And for the 15 inch model the processors are very much streamlined. There is either the 11th generation Intel Core i7 or an AMD Ryzen 7 4980U. Of course depending on whether you go with Intel or AMD it's also going to determine what kind of graphics you have. And if you go with Intel, it will be their Iris XE graphics and AMD is powered by their AMD Radeon graphics. Everything else on these devices is pretty much streamlined. Both display sizes have the same Windows Hello face authentication camera, which is a 720p camera. They both have dual far field studio mics. Both have the exact same ports and connections, which is a single USB-C port, a single USB-A port, a 3.5 millimeter jack and a Surface Connect port for charging. A very important point of differentiation between the AMD Ryzen Surface laptops and the Intel Core processor Surface laptops is going to be battery life. When we look at the 13 and a half inch Surface Laptop 4 with AMD Ryzen, it gets a total of up to 19 hours of battery life. And out of the same conditions, the Intel Surface Laptop got 17 hours of battery life, a total of two hours less. The differences are a little bit less notable with the 15 inch laptop Top. However, the AMD Ryzen was able to get 17 and a half hours of battery life, where the Intel Surface Laptop only got 16 and a half hours of battery, a total of one hour less. You will get a little bit more battery life with the AMD, regardless on what size device you choose to get. Now let's move on to configuration and pricing, and this is where things get a little bit interesting. Let's start with the 13 and a half inch model, looking at the very entry level configuration, which comes with the Alcantara fabric 
an AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage. That is priced at $999. For $200 more, you can double the RAM, and it's important to note that those are the only two AMD configurations. It's only available in the Platinum Alcantara fabric, so you're stuck with the fabric, and unfortunately, the AMD configurations max out at 256 gigabytes of storage. And right away, there might be several barriers to getting the 13 and a half inch Surface Laptop 4 with AMD processors. The first being you don't like the Alcantara fabric. The second being you want more than 256 gigabytes of storage. And the third being you need more than 16 gigabytes of RAM. These three features are limited to the Intel Core i7 configuration. And the entry level offering for Intel comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage with a Core i5 processor. And that is $12.99, which equals a $300 premium over the AMD model with the same amount of RAM. Interestingly enough, there is no 256 gigabyte of storage on any of the Intels, making it hard to have a fair comparison between these two configurations. However, continuing with the Intel, for $200 more, you can double up your RAM to 16 gigabytes, keeping the same storage and Core i5 processor, and that will cost $14.99. To move up to the Core i7, keeping RAM and storage the same will run another $200. And for $16.99, you will get a Core i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD drive. For those three Intel configurations, they're available in metal or fabric at the same price. The top engine of the Surface Laptop for 13 and a half inch has something special this year, and that is that it tops out at 32 gigabytes of RAM. The Surface Laptop 3 at this display size maxed out at 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's nice to see that Microsoft has doubled that. For the big jump of $22.99, you can get 32 gigabytes of RAM and a full one terabyte of SSD storage. Moving up to the 15 inch model available in platinum and matte black metal only is equipped with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD drive and it is priced at $12.99. For $200 more, you're able to double up the SSD drive to 512 gigabytes. Double the RAM from there to 16 gigabytes will run you another $200, which gives you the top end AMD configuration total of $16.99. And when looking at the Intel configurations, there's only two of them, and the entry level one is priced at $17.99, giving you that Intel Core i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a half a terabyte SSD. When you compare that to the same configuration on the AMD side at $16.99, it's only a $100 decision for you to choose between Intel and AMD. Looking at the top Intel model, which doubles up the RAM and storage will cost you $23.99, which has a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of storage. So in the end, the big decision is gonna be between Intel and AMD when you're looking at these laptops. I think the decision is gonna be a lot harder when you look at the 13 and a half inch configuration. When you have a $300 premium just to get the same amount of RAM and you're just getting a little bit more storage, I don't know if it's going to be justified to spend 30% more for most consumers. And it's simple, if you want the best Surface Laptop 4, the highest configuration Surface Laptop 4 of any size, you'll have to go with an Intel and you'll have to be prepared to pay for it. Because when you're looking at the very entry level Surface Laptop for 13 and a half inch, it starts at $999. And by the time you've maximized everything available, you've more than doubled its price. I am however a little disappointed that the 13 and a half inch model for AMD processors only comes with Alcantara. I'm a little bit surprised that Microsoft wouldn't have wanted to have at least one model, maybe the most premium AMD model with the metal, but it seems like they chose to streamline. With that, I wanna thank everyone for listening to my thoughts, and I wanna know, what do you think about the Surface Laptop 4? Are you more intrigued with the potential of getting an AMD chipset and maybe getting a bit of those savings on the low end, or are you more interested in getting the top end model with Intel and all that glorious storage and RAM? Let me know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. It's very helpful to me and even more helpful for the channel. And if you've been enjoying a few videos, I I do invite you to subscribe to the channel. I always have lots of good content and I would love to keep sharing it with you. As always, thank you from Pragmatic.